Hey everybody! And today we have this giant Gabby's Dollhouse board game! Amazing! So guys, today we have this amazing, well actually Lee, it's a meow amazing game. And it's from Gabby's Dollhouse, so it's got all the Gabby cats. And it comes with 40 different charms. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to play it. We're going to teach you guys how to play it. And then we're going to play a little bit ourselves. And before we get into this video, give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. And let's, let's get, get started. started. Okay, so let's open this up. And guys, I forgot to tell you, but we can make our own Gabby ears, so that's going to be fun. Ooh, we have the actual game. And some stuff here. Oh, we have some cards. And here we have the stands. And then these are the dice for playing the game, and this is the Wait. dice roller. There's a little cat. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what you do with that in a minute. So guys, like Lily said, it comes with these Gabby ears that are part of the game. There's a lot of them. Yeah, so the first thing we have to do, Lily, is we have to set them up. The ears, they have the black and white one and then they have the pink one. Yeah. So we have to get those out of the bag. So mm -hmm. in one side, we're going to put the white ear and on the other side, we're going to put the black ear, just like Gabby's. The black and white one. The black and white one, just like in Gabby's yep. headband. Perfect. So you're just going to fit that in like that on one side. There we go. Good. Nice. And then the white one on the other side. There we go. Good job, Lily. Now Lily. I'm going to put them on. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead, guys, and we're going to do the same with the next three. I got the last one in. I'm actually really impressed with the quality of these. Yeah, um, they're really good, like they're strong plastic. They seem like they'll last. Yeah. So we've got all three done. Lily's wearing hers. I'm gonna put mine on. Okay, and now we're gonna do the step two in setting up. So the next step in setting up, Lily had these stands yep. for the Gabby cats. So there's four Gabby cats in this game, Lily, that you can play with. Who are the four Gabby cats? There is Kitty Fairy, Pandy, Mary Kitty and Kiki. Okay, so let's pop them out and get them on the stand. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, Lily, is open up the game board. Wow. It's a nice big game board. Yeah. Nice and shiny. We have all the different rooms in the Gabby hey. house. Hey, look! <gasps> Sneaky cat rat. There's Carlita and Diggy Chatness. Okay, so now we have here the top of the dollhouse. So you have to stick that in the top of the game board, just like that, like a puzzle. Good job! And that doesn't fit in the box, so that piece has to be taken off every time, guys. Uh, at home, every time you guys are playing the game, this part has to be taken off and put back on. Yeah, but that's not that's not a big deal. It just fits in like a puzzle piece. See, perfectly. So the next thing we're gonna do is we take the the dice shaker and we're gonna put it right in the middle so that we can both reach it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna pop out all these charms. Oh, okay. First one is a strawberry. These are all charms yeah, that are going that can actually go in your Gabby ears. So they actually go in to the ears, into the slots whoa. at the, whoa, <laughs> flying charms. So the charms actually go in the back of the Gabby ears. That's what they're for. They go in like whoa. this. So if you get a charm, Lily's over here just popping charms everywhere. <laughs> whoa, guys, look at this. So Lily's got all the charms popped out. You could use. <laughs> Lily's gonna use that for probably a and craft later, right, Lily? Oh yeah. And look at all these charms. 
So all the charms go on the dollhouse up here. So try to organize them neatly up there on the dollhouse. And the only thing that goes right in the middle on the, the kitty's nose is the heart charm. Did you find the nice heart charm? Yes. Yes. So that's the one that goes right on her nose and all the other ones you can put around. Okay, so I am done. Now we've got here the cards for the game. So yep. the big elevator card in the back has to go on the middle part of the elevator, the middle floor. Okay, so we're gonna leave that there. And then all the other cards we're gonna take out and you get a card and I get a card. So whoever's playing gets one room card. These are called room cards. Okay, so Lily's deciding which room she wants. I want the play room. Okay, so whatever room you want, I'm just gonna take a random room. Let's see which room I get. Oh, I get a craft room. So I'm gonna, so you place that down in front of you, face up, and the rest of the cards we're gonna place face down, and we're going to put them somewhere just near the dollhouse where we can pick them, so that's that's perfect. You can put them up there, good. Okay, so once we have the setup done, it's time to play. So, how you play, it says, the last person who watched Gabby's dollhouse is the first person to go. So who would that be, Lily? Me! Definitely you, Lily. So I think you would be the first one to go. Now, what you do on every turn is you're going to roll the dice. So on every turn you roll the dice and you go however many spaces in any direction. So you can go this way, you can go this way, or you can go this way around. It doesn't matter. You can choose what? any direction. What if you land on the cat face? Okay, so if you land on a cat face, that, which one's the cat face? This one? Um, so that means that you would pick a room card from our oh. room pile over there, okay? Now, if you pick a room card, you can only have two room cards at one time. So you see we each have one right now, you can only have two. Okay, so you'd have to put one back in the pile before you could take another one if you already have two. If you land on the elevator, what you do is you move the elevator card up or down one space. You can choose. Okay, so this space is called the direction kitty. So on this space, what it means is if you land here, you can choose to go either this way or that way. So you can choose to go one space this way or one space that way. It's your choice. So it's basically like you get to move an extra space. Ooh. And this, if you get the cat ears car, if you get if you land on the cat ears space, guess what happens, Lily? What? You get to pick a charm. <gasps> Any charm of your choice, and you can add it to your cat ears so basically the object of the game is if the cat evader is on your floor of the card that you have you can put that card in the room okay and then once you put the card in the room do you know what happens lily yeah. you can pick another charm amazing Yay. okay Okay, so Lily, since you were the last one to watch Gabby's dollhouse, you go first. Okay, I'm gonna be polite. You go first. Oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to roll the dice. And I have a one and a two, which is three. three. So I'm gonna move three. I think I'm gonna go this way. One, two, three. And I land on the direction kitty. So that means I can go one more space in either direction. And I think I'm gonna go this space because then I can go one more space again. And that's gonna take me to this space, which is the elevator. And then what I can do with the elevator is... Make it go up or down. And I'm gonna make it go up so that it's on Baby Box's floor. And next time I can put a card down. Yeah, okay, let's see. I got a kitty face! That means you get to pick a charm. Yay! Since I, I'm kind of in the bathroom theme, I'm going to pick more kitty's paw print. Okay, that's a cute charm. And you have one charm. Yep. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. 
four. Oh, so you can move the cativator now. Yay. What are you going to move? I'm going to move. You can only move it down. You can only move it one space yeah. down. So now, if I get one more, oh, I can put my card. On your next turn, you could put your card. That's right. Okay, my turn. Ooh, I get a charm too. Here, I'm going to put that one in my cat ears. Put this charm right in my cat ears. So where am I? I'm here. So I'm going to go one, and I can pick another room card, Lily. Another baby box. That's baby box, right? This is baby box's mom. Oh, so I get mama box. So now I have two cards for the craft room. Ooh, and remember, you can only have two cards at one time, guys. Two out of one, so that is three. One, two, three. I get to move the cativator. And then move it up. Nice. So I'm going to take one of my craft room cards and I'm going to put it in the craft room. So I've already started decorating the craft room and now I'm going to get a charm because I got a decoration in the room. So I think I'm going to take, what charm should I take? Oh, I like these flowers. I'm going to take these flowers. Now I have two charms, Lily. Yay, I really hope I get a charm. <laughs> I got four, four. So I get to choose which way I want to go. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. And now that moves the cativator again. Okay. That's a good choice. I got three, three, right? Yeah. And that's another room card. So I'm. Whose room is that, Lily? That's DJ Catnip's room. That's CJ Catnip's room. I get to pick a charm. Well, yeah. you have, because the cativator is on your floor, and you have a decoration for Murcat's room. Yeah. So put your decoration in the room. Okay. There you go. Since it's almost summer, I'm going to pick a popsicle. Oh, that's cute. I was looking at that one, too. I like that one. There you go. So it's my turn. I'm going to put my card down. And I win! No, we have one more room to do. Don't oh forget, we have my room to do, but you do get another charm. Oh, I'm going to choose this guitar. But I have no more spaces. So it still has to go in your charm pile. Yeah. <gasps> I get a charm. This is my first charm for the charm pile. I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick this cool weight. I like this one. So that goes in my charm pile. Three, four. four. And four brings me to the cativator. And you get to move the cativator. And I'm going to move the cativator up to my floor. Okay, Lily, your turn. I got a three. Three. I want to leave it there. Now it's my turn. Yep. And on my turn, I can take the last room of the house that needs to be decorated, which is Miss Carlita, and I can put it in the space, and now the whole house is decorated. And now we count who has the most of the charms. So, oh. Now we're going to see who has the most charms now that the house is decorated and whoever has the most charms gets the big fancy heart charm in the middle of the roof. Put 9, 10, 11. 11. Okay, and I have 8, 9 charms. And how many do you have, Lily? I have 11, so that means I win. That's right, so, you win, so you um, get the big heart charm. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. This is a really fun game. Did you have fun? Yeah, I yeah. had a lot of fun. Yeah, this is a really good game. So this game says for four years and up, Lily is six, so I think this sh this is the perfect age for her. Like younger kids could play too. They just would probably need a little bit of help with some of the counting or, you know, figuring out the charms and stuff. But for Lily's age, I think this is a great game. I know she can play this on her own um, or with her brothers, no problem. 
And um, as you can see, she doesn't need help. She's good at the counting and she and the, the game is easy enough to grasp that um yeah it's really great for her level and i'm really happy with the pieces it's really colorful um the charms are a really cute feature i love those yeah me too and, and we still have some other ones and yeah we still have lots of charms left there okay so i think that's the end of our video lily is definitely our winner for today in the game yay yay yeah and um so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed yeah. watching this video i yeah. hope you um, learned how to play if you have any questions drop a comment down below we'd be happy to answer any questions lily loves answering comments yep yep and thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye